¿Qué tal, amigos? Today we are doing a studded jacket tutorial and first we're going to start off with the things that you need in order to make this jacket. Now first I'm going to start off by designing along the edges of the jacket. This is probably the most basic and most simple part that you are going to do in the jacket because the rest of the jacket it has more like complicated shapes and all of that. And we're going to start off with the 8mm size gold pearls. <laughs> Now, if you are using the same glue that I am using, the E6000 glue, um, you'll notice that once you open it, it will keep oozing out of the tube. So I highly suggest that after applying it to your pearls or the jacket, that you put the cap back on because you just do not want to make a mess. It'll ruin the jacket if it'll get on the jacket, and plus, uh, it sucks uh, to get off. It's just really sticky. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want that. And this is how it should look after you finish applying the gold pearls onto the jacket. Next, I'm going to be gluing the same size gold pearls around the zippers of the jacket. Now, if you buy the same jacket that I did off of Amazon, you will notice that one of the zippers, it continues onto the back of the jacket. Please do not glue the pearls onto the back of the jacket. Stay in front, okay? Next, I'm going to apply the bronze 5mm size um, pearls onto the outside of the gold pearls that I've glued around the zippers. And the reason why I use the bronze instead of the silver ones that were shown on to Selena's jacket is because I did not buy the silver ones. That's how the color came off to me um, with the picture that I used, but it was actually silver. But I used bronze for the front of the jacket because I didn't want to waste it. And you'll see later on um, that I will use a silver pearls for the back of the jacket. Next, you are going to continue the gold pearls along the seams of the side of the jacket. As you can see that um, 
I accidentally glued onto the back of the jacket. You'll see later on that I will take those off and I removed it with um, nail polish remover. You'll see a transition of where those pearls are going to be gone because that's the, one of the mistakes that I made. can see that there's some white lines that I've drawn on the back of the jacket and that's basically where I'm going to going to be placing the gold pearls onto the jacket as seen on Selena's jacket then after I finished that I went onto the inside of those gold trails and did like a rectangular shape that's like Selena's and that's pretty much where on the inside of that you're going to be placing the stars and notice how at top I have glued the 8mm gold pearls along the arms and shoulders and collar of the jacket. Notice how on the shoulder they are not touching. They are at a distance just like Selena's. You do not want them to touch if you want it as accurate as possible. Okay. <laughs> Now moving on, we're going to go to the 4mm silver pearls and basically just start going along the gold trails. I highly suggest watching the tutorial. Do not go along with me. You know, probably you can go back and skip through or whatever in some parts you need help with. But the reason why I say do not go along with me is because there are some errors that I've made on this jacket. This is like my first attempt at making this jacket. And I pretty much just want you guys to learn from my mistakes so that you won't make them while making the jacket. <music> Next, I'm going to be applying the stars. I did not show this at the beginning of the video because, um, I forgot number one. Number two, um, these ran out. These were on Amazon. They do not have these anymore. They do have the little legs at the bottom of them where you can like put push them through the jacket. But I pretty much just folded them inward and glued them on simply because one, I do not want to make holes in my jacket and end up ruining the jacket. And uh, two, I just felt like the glue was just a much safer choice. And I used a significant amount of glue to the point where I made sure it was not going to slide off, sweetie. So... <laughs> Next, we are going to go over the shoulders. Um, this is going to be the same pattern that you're going to use for the front and the back of the jacket. Um, but I did them two different ways because the pictures that we're looking at, like I mentioned before, these pictures are not clear, sweetie. So the way I did it in the back is not the accurate way, not the accurate way. Okay, the front will be, you'll see it later on. The one that I'm doing right now is the back of the jacket. It's not accurate, okay? But this is how I did the back of it. First, I did like a trying this little triangle shape that she has um, with the 8mm sized gold pearls. It's going to be like this curved like little triangle shape. I have added, I think these are size 8. I'm not 100% sure. I got um, the ones that I got with the rhinestones. They were like mixed sizes. And um, I think these are the size 8 that I'm putting down right now. And I'm basically just like shaping out a C, making a C shape out of them. And I do that for each side of the little curved area that you see on the square that I've made. 
or a triangle, whatever shape you see. I see um, both at the moment. <laughs> whatever, whatever fits you, honey. I'm going to go back and use the same size 8mm gold pearls and just form this diamond shape in between the C's. And then adding in these diamond shaped rhinestones. <laughs> Then I continued on to glue silver pearls onto the along the trails of the gold pearls. Next, we will be moving on to the forearm of the jacket. I've added um, size six mm gold trails onto it first. And I'm just going to call this the Aladdin Towers because that's exactly what it looks like to me, like the little Aladdin buildings. <laughs> then next we are going to add the 8mm gold pearls and you're just basically just going to form the same pattern outside the 6mm, but you're going to leave a little open area at the top. Do not close it. Next, we're going on to the 4mm size gold pearls, and then you're going to make like shark fins, and then continue, and then more shark fins, and then close it up with like a triangle at the top. Okay, on this part, I've added little rhinestones and little pearls on the inside of it. I don't know exactly um, how the pattern was. On Selena's jacket, I pretty much was just going with the flow. I was just filling it in. Honey, this part of the jacket was frustrating. We are going on to the arm shoulder of the jacket. As you can see, um, I used 6mm size on the outside, followed by 4mm silver ones going downwards, 8mm rhinestones, two of them. Then continuing with three 6mms, followed by like, I'm gonna say like five, 4mm gold pearls going downwards with a 6mm size triangle in the middle. Yes, it's a lot. I'm sorry. <laughs> And we're going to continue going downward with that pattern with a few more 4mm gold pearls. And then you're going to form this silver 4mm pattern that's shaped like a hammer. You're going to fill it in with like 6mm pearls with two 4mm gold pearls on the inside. And we are going to go on to the back of the jacket, the grand finale. This is a little hard to explain, so bear with me. As you can see along the collars of the jacket, the big, the biggest sizes that I've added on there is 8mm. Okay, then I have the 8mm, um, three 8mm rhinestones going along the sides and downwards forming this like U shape. You have the short one and then you have the long one, and then you have the diamond shape with um, a 4mm sized rhinestones on the inside and a diamond. And then like two other 8mm rhinestones in between. It's a lot sweet. Then I went on and I started adding the really tiny 4mm sized gold pearls. As you can see with the little shark fin that I, <laughs> shark fin shape that I did, they are both like not even. If you were to look at Selena Jackie, you'll see that the patterns aren't really symmetrical on each side. Also, there's a few errors on there too, so that's why I didn't really feel that bad when they didn't look exactly the same. I'm just gonna have you guys just, just, yeah. Look at the pictures. If you need to pause, then pause. So, how you doing? You guys doing fine? You like your jacket? I love my jacket. I love it so much. Sorry, I can not speak on this part. This is really like, there are just some parts of the jacket I cannot explain and this is one of the parts, yeah. Look at that beautiful pattern being formed, sweetie. Yes. You better, oh, why it look all silver on this part? Guys, I don't know um, if it was a filter or not, but I assure you that the colors uh, did not huh, wipe out or anything. Yeah, it was a daytime when I did that. That's why it looked like that. This is a very time consuming jacket. So that just goes to show that transition from night and day, honey. <laughs> This, this is not a one day thing. This took me months, months 
to do and i started ordering like the pearls and everything and all the rhinestones in december and i didn't finish until like how long it took me it took me like six five six months it should not take you that long, to be honest, if you're doing this straight for. Oh, and this is the end result. <laughs> Pure, pretty, pretty. <laughs> now, as I said, as I mentioned earlier, with the bronze 4mm on the front of the jacket. By the way, this is how the little shoulder pad patterns that I showed y'all in the front of the jacket, that's how it's supposed to look. Okay, that is the original pattern. What I did in the back, I did not get a good visual of the pictures shown to me from Selena's jacket. Selena's pictures with her um, studded jacket on, they were not HD, they were not clear. Honey, she's a 90s queen, okay, with 90s camera quality, and that's exactly what I got. This part, I'm just showing you guys the jacket and how mine's turn out and how it looked and how it should look. And how it turned out so that's the front of the jacket and I'm showing the shoulders the arms of the jacket the forearm of the jacket now I'm turning on to the back of the jacket this is how it should look this jacket looks freaking awesome bro I'm so proud it was stressful most definitely but it was worth it why that I also suggest that um, if you really really want something sturdy when it comes to these pearls not that it falls off or anything it's just the fact that you know it's pretty and all but pretty people they want you know like high, higher quality stuff when it comes to stuff like this so I would highly suggest getting like the studs, studs with the prongs on the ends of them but I use pearls so Anyways, thank you guys for watching my tutorial. I hope you guys loved it and you guys enjoy your jackets. Until next time, bye bye. Adios.